Good morning, good morning everyone. How are you today? It is a Monday, the worst day of the week. Why is it the worst day of the week? Because it is right after the weekend, which was not enough time to rest or have fun or whatever you do on the weekend. So I am I got up this morning as I do every morning very early, about five. I wake up, I'm awake by five o'clock. I get out of my bed or off my futon by 5 30 which is when the alarm goes off but most times I'm out of my bedroom before 5 30 and um, I start to get ready and I wake up that early because I, I move slowly I'm not rushing in the morning I make myself breakfast this morning I had to make lunch or at least make part of my lunch because last night I was so tired and I was trying to finish up something for work. Yes, I did work stuff at home because there is this one thing I need to catch, needed to catch up on and I just couldn't get enough time at the schools to do it. It's a complicated inputting of information and doing it on my phone is not as convenient, I realized. As doing it on my laptop so I was able to um, I think I finished but I was really tired because I was up until very late doing it so yeah um, today on my way to work and um, just not happy <laughs> I'm just not listen let me just I'm not going to come here and pretend like, oh, I love my job and I love teaching the kids and all of that. I don't love my job. I don't love teaching the kids. But I do my job and I teach the kids and I want the kids to learn something. And if I use more, I don't use games. I'm not a game per, game type of person. So I'm not a, I don't think I'm a fun teacher. I'm not like, oh, guys, we're going to do this game. And they're like, yay. But I do give them activities where they are using the target language to communicate with each other and I like to give them the opportunity to showcase what they've learned and I don't try to correct every single thing they say or every I don't try to correct every single mistake because then in my opinion you're going to kind of those who are really shy and self-conscious they're going to feel like oh I don't want to do this because I'm going to make a mistake and Miss um, Andy's going to um, She's gonna call it out and everybody's gonna look at me. No, I want them to to see English as what it is. It's a language of communication. Because there are times my students seem to put it in a complete, don't change on me, don't change on me, on a completely different, cat or in a completely different category. Like, this is not a language we speak to communicate. And I'm like, yes it is. It's just not your language. And what you need to do is master this language that's all I want them to do to master it um, not to be afraid of it and you know what not everybody's gonna like it that's fine you don't have to like it which language don't I like like I'm like I don't know French I'm not a huge fan of French I studied it I will even play with a little whatever I like the intonation of it and I'll watch French movies but I don't want to study French I did it in high school I did it and I did Spanish and I'm like I prefer Spanish maybe because Spanish and Japanese and German are more like they sound a little bit they, they match me more oh what's that hair doing right um so uh, someone asked me more than one person actually I've been asked, um, do you, which do you prefer, Jamaica or Japan? And I thought that was an interesting question. Not interesting, like, wow, that's so fascinating. No, like, which do I like more, Jamaica or Japan? I, I said, Jamaica. It's my country. Uh, and, and, you know, and someone asked me and I said I love like I love Jamaica but I don't love it in a nationalistic we're better than everybody it's just because what it represents for me is my is history my, my 
I was born there, I grew up there, I have childhood memories there, good and bad. Um, I'm a product of it. My grandmother raised me there and, and, and I have a little bit of her and she died there and you know, I'm not, con I'm not tied to Jamaica in a sense where I couldn't leave it. Of course, obviously I can, but it's just what it represents for me. It's my culture, it's my history, it's my family, meaning my family's there. I, I, that's my culture, um, I, that's my history is there. Um, and if something happens in any other country where I'm at, where I need to book, book it out quickly, it's my let's run to back to your home country because as bad as things may be or as bad as you think things may be you're probably safer there than here so yeah so i said to the person more than one person who asked um jamaica jamaica of course and the especially when i'm asked by a japanese person um i i want to make it very clear to them that yes your country is nice but it is not the best um, there is a a conception among the Japanese especially those who haven't traveled and uh, who haven't traveled or if they have um, they haven't opened themselves up to other cultures um, they put Japan on a pedestal as is the best country in the world and everywhere else is is chicken poop um, okay, maybe that's an extreme. That, that's definitely an, an extreme. Um, so I want them to know that I didn't come here for economic reasons. Like when they ask me, why did you come to Japan? For work? They don't, they don't wait for me to answer. They don't say, why did you come to Japan? And wait for me to answer. Why did you come for, to Japan? For work? Um, well, work is, the re is how I got here. You know, I have a job, and so that's why I could get the visa to come here. But it's not the reason for my coming here. I chose to come here because I wanted to come here. If I could come here and not work, I would do that. But I have to work in order to maintain my visa, to stay here legally. But um, I mean, I just wanted to come to Japan. And a means of coming here was um, through a work, um, contract you know so I, I want I don't so I don't want to ever say yes because of work because then they they have it in their head that oh you came from a poor country and you needed to make money so you come you came here and for you it's an economic no it's not like I don't think like that <laughs> I really don't my my decisions and I'm a planner by nature. When I say a planner, I'm a, I'm a planner by nature. Like I will plan things out in my head, especially of what I'm gonna do next week, next month, next year, five years. Yeah, in my head I'm planning that and some things I may jot down. That doesn't mean that I think my plans will come to fruition. It's just that I, that's just how I operate. I like to plan things. So I'm not spontaneous. People may think I'm spontaneous because it may seem to them that I'm just, oh, I'm going to do this. No, it, I've been planning it. I'm just not sharing it with you. So yeah, so I, because if, if my reason for going to another country was totally an economic move, I would, it would have been easier for me to go to the USA. For one, the US dollar to Jamaican dollar is much more better, is much better. It's closer to my home country. I have family in the USA and I have friends in the USA. I understand the language, I speak the language. So it would have been a less, less tedious experience for me. Um, it's just that I'm not really interested in American culture. American culture is very varied, very diverse, um, depending on where you go. And I, I'm used to it. Like. I watch movies and I've been there and so it's not fascinating to me unless I went to one of those either states or cities that was kind of different like off the beaten path <laughs> you know like I like the south why do I like the south I don't know Minnesota I like Minnesota I've been to Minnesota I've 
Yeah, and I like I thought I said to my friend, I could live in Minnesota. I could. Except for your winters and your autumns, possibly your spring. It's too cold. Um so yeah, I would have done that, but I came to Japan because one, it's just where I wanted to be. And the perk is I have a job and I, I get paid while I'm here. So that's nice, but it's not the reason. Now, why do I like Japan or what do I like about Japan? Now, let me just say this. Like every other country, Japan has its good and its bad. You know, it's not all roses and running through the field and butterflies flying around. There, it, it has its negatives had, it has its dark side. So I wouldn't say come to Japan because it's like wonderful. It is a nice country, you know? But it's a country with, filled with people, human beings that are human beings with their imperfections and some are nice and some are not. And some are really bad. There's crime here, but it's not as bad as say, depending, depending on where you're, you're from, it's maybe not as bad as your own country. What's that light? What's that? What am I seeing? Oh, yeah. So, um, like, gun crime here is exists. It exists, but it's not as prevalent as in other countries. Like, when you have a gun crime, it's like, what? Gun? <laughs> when you hear something going pop, 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 you're not thinking, is that a gun? Gunshot? No. You don't think that first. You're like, what is that? And if you listen, it sounds like gunshot. You're like, you're, you're questioning... If it's really gunshots you're hearing, can't be. Is it a car backfiring? <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. Uh, okay, 11 minutes. Part two is going to come after this.